talk transformations. A transformation uh, really in its most basic term just means a change. So what we're going to talk about for the next couple of chapters or a couple of lessons here are different ways to change a figure. The first of which is a translation, which is also sometimes called a slide. A transformation in general means we're going to take a figure, like say this blue rectangle here, and we're going to change it in some way. We're going to make it bigger, we're going to make it smaller, we're going to rotate it, we're going to flip it over one line or another, or we're just going to move it without changing its size. And that's what a translation or a slide is. We take the figure, the little blue rectangle here, and we're just going to slide it around on our graph, and we're going to track where it goes and how we move it from place to place. A translation needs to be identified by what happens to any given point in the original figure to get it to the new location. So if we call, and there are a number of ways to document that, if we call our first rectangle here A, rectangle A, then once we've moved that rectangle, we have a new name for it. We call it A prime. We we'll put this little apostrophe here. And sometimes we refer to those two figures then as the pre-image pre-image and the image. So our pre-image is what happens to the figure before we apply whatever changes we're going to apply. And then the image is what we call it after we've made those changes. And sometimes we'll call it by a name and then that same name prime, which really means the same thing. It's just another way to notate it. To identify what's happened to a figure, specifically with a slide, we talk about what happens to any given point on the figure and its corresponding point on the image afterward. So from the pre-image to the image. If, for instance, we start with this location right here. This location is it looks like 1, 3. So if this point right here is at 1, 3 on our pre-image, and then the corresponding point is over here at 6, 7, on the image, then to get from one to the other, our x, remember our, our uh, coordinates are x comma y, right? Our x change is going from one to six, so it's a positive five, and our y change is a positive three to seven, positive four. So what we would say is that any location on our first image translates to x plus 5 and y plus 4 on our new image. So obviously we can see we went up by 5 and up by 4 from our pre-image to our image. So we can do that with any other point on the pre-image to get it to the same point on the image. Let's take a look at this one up here, say. This point here is 2, 5. So if we put it through our little process, we start with 2, comma 5. So we translate that point, 2 plus 5 is 7, and 5 plus 4 is 9. So the corresponding point should be at 7, and it is, and 9, and it is. This point up here is 7, 9. So that's the process. We look to see what we do to each x-coordinate and what we do to each y-coordinate in order to see what happens with the original pre-image to get it into the location of the new image. And the image should be exactly the same in appearance as the pre-image if we're translating it or sliding it, because we're not going to change the way it looks. We're just going to change its location.